All right, guys. So, unfortunately, this is a palette that I'm just, like, in a weird space about. I don't know if I really want to keep it in my collection. I don't really know if I want to return it. It's not a bad palette at all. The formula is good, of course, because of the brand. But I'm just like, I was excited for it, but now I'm not. And I got busy and other more exciting things came out. And I was just like, eh. We'll see, but we're gonna create a couple looks and maybe I'll feel something different by the end of the video. Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So today I have the Natasha Denona Dream Palette. So I'm not gonna do a full review. I'm sure you've seen about 50,000 of the reviews on this particular palette. By no means it's a bad palette at all, okay? Um, I do actually like the paint splatter. It's a little bit different. It's a midi size. This one did cost like $4 more compared to her other midi sizes. They've usually been 65, this is $69. Mm, inflation but I, I just I'm I don't know about it you know what I mean I, I've used it a couple of times I've wanted to work the longevity has been great it's been pretty and it's not a bad palette like look at it now two shades are repeats I haven't quite figured those two shades out <laughs> but you know I'm just like I don't know if I want to keep it maybe I will and another thing is that the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette came out. Now, I know the formulas are not really comparable, but I think I like that palette better than this one. And it's something about those gray tones. So I'm just like, now I'm just like, ah. So, like I said, here we are. I'm going to do a couple of looks and we're going to see how this falls out, okay? Uh, you do have a nice little unicarton right here that actually matches the palette. I do like the splatter mark. She calls this her dream palette because these are her dream shades. Mm, very, re I mean, I feel like that's very appropriate. When I look at this palette, I get a little bit of glam. So here's glam. I actually really love glam. You know, it's a really nice palette. But this palette is very, a lot more cool tone compared to the Dream Palette. It also gives me retro vibes, just, just ever so slightly. I really like retro. Retro is really cool. Really pretty palette, you know. Um, yeah, this is retro. Um, now, hmm. And then what else does it give me? Then we also have, let's see, I have bronze right here, so we might as well just pull them out, okay? So we have bronze. It doesn't really read like how the bronze does because very, very bronze, orangey, coppery tones there. I also have love. Here's the love palette. So just a few burgundies. Yeah. And then what else do I have here? I got the Glam palette from last year, that Glam face palette rather, but here is Zendo. Zendo I don't care for either, but it's still hanging around here. So uh, I guess we're kind of going bat for bat, okay? Where it's just a couple palettes that I just don't care for with Natasha Denona. But you know, I just want to take a fair look at these palettes as I'm like messing with putting these ones back. <laughs> All right. I'm like, let me stop because it's just going to be so noisy when I go to edit. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring you in closer. I'm going to do a couple of looks. I think I'm going to talk through them. I'm only going to do two and then we'll just kind of wrap up. So like I said, it's been so many reviews. People got their palettes late, the shipping, the pre-order, you know, FedEx running behind. All that good stuff. I'm gonna pull you in closer. I'm gonna prime these eyelids and we'll talk about my feelings about this palette. Let's go ahead and get started. I have my eyebrows filled in already and I use my Goof Proof Pencil shade 3.75. I have my favorite eyeshadow primer here pulled out and this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I really love this primer. My shadows stay so long with this eye primer. So I consistently use it. It is also a really nice shade for my complexion. The only problem about it is I actually have to get this one directly from Urban Decay itself because they don't carry it inside the store. I don't know why. It's really quite annoying, but that's neither here or there. So <laughs> but Urban Decay has some great 
eyeshadow primers. So I didn't even realize it. Like I was over here fussing about this palette or just feeling indifferent and can't figure it out how I feel about this particular launch. This launch isn't bad at all, but you know, didn't even introduce myself. So <laughs> if you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So usually when I introduce myself, I am not blending out an eyeshadow look <laughs> or some eyeshadow primer. And I, I don't know, when I saw this, I was just like, yes. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It is pretty, it's berry tones. It's a lot of tones that we've been used to. I think a lot of tones that, you know, we have gotten in the Sasha Denona lineup. We got a couple of shifty little multi-chrome situations also. Um, also, let's see. Hmm, does she tell us which ones are the dual chrome? She does have like a, let's see, she has a label that says dual chrome. Okay, metallic dual chrome. Hmm. I'm trying to look at it based on the palette. So I know this shade is definitely doing it vision. Okay, so multi-chrome right here. And then what else is considered to be, I guess Serenity is considered to be a DC, which would be a, a dual chrome, I guess. So you got Serenity up here. So it's, I mean, it's a lot of pretty little options in here. This palette is very wearable. I feel like this palette is also very nice for anybody who just kind of wants to jump into the Natasha Denona lineup, wants to see what like her formulation is all about, the cream, the powders. That's one thing I do really enjoy about Natasha Denona, like her formula, her mattes are really, really nice. Now, in terms of Pat McGrath versus Natasha, I think I prefer Natasha's. No, I'm sorry. I think I prefer Pat McGrath's uh, mattes over Natasha's. Now, I do really appreciate how she does some of these deeper colors um, in that cream to powder format because it, it just pulls off very nicely, blend out very nicely. So I'm going to take this shade Carpe Diem. I got a Wayne number 16 brush and I'm just going to pop this in the crease, go back and forth like how I normally do. So I got my palette. I ordered it actually from Sephora because I was just like, okay, I, I don't know. I just decided to wait for Sephora. <laughs> it's like, it is what it is. So, you know, normally with Sephora back in the day, you used to get stuff so fast, but now they're like, you gotta pay to be, to get flash shipping, which is like really ridiculous. Um, I don't like that at all. I don't know why but look this shade shows up really nicely it blends out like a charm like she has bomb mattes you, you can't like this palette is not gonna be bad I'm just I think <laughs> I don't know I'm just eh, indifferent about it like <laughs> I'm just indifferent about it. Okay. So now I want to just go in with this um, smaller blending brush this is actually a Sonya G this is a crease pro and I'm gonna jump in with the shade Familia and Familia is supposed to be like one of her cream mattes situation so these are really nice this is what it's like popping up on the brush so I decided oh okay that's a really nice shade of brown hmm. Hmm. didn't have to do too much work there I just wanted to kind of deepen it up and to play in a shade that I hadn't already played in so <laughs> that's all we're doing there but I decided to just order from Sephora because I was like, okay, I could probably just get it relatively quickly versus just going through, you know, Natasha, I can use my rocket tin. Them little eBay, eBay points be coming through. Like when I say coming through, they come through, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna jump in with Edgy. This is Edgy right here. Edgy is definitely like that cream to powder formulation. So the cream to powder has like that wet feeling and this brush is already staying because I used it yesterday with the Pat McGrath and I'm like, okay, it's going to be fine because that's one thing I would say about these cream to powder formulations. They're great, but honey, I feel like they leave your brushes a mess and I don't know, I just washed out my brushes. So is it me or... <laughs> You know, when you wash your brushes, you're like, I don't want 
to use them like you want to use them but you don't want to use them because you don't want to get them all dirty i don't know and then once they're all dirty you're like oh crap <laughs> you know so just popping that into the inner crease into the outer corner so yeah i just ordered it from sephora basically uh i got it you know within about a week or so basically when everybody else was kind of showing up from their little pre-order situation because the pre-orders they didn't get it quickly you know so i don't know but when i got it i used it right away i've just been really busy so i haven't had a chance to film and then I don't know, somewhere along the line, the excitement just kind of wore off for me. I promise you, I think it was the Huda palette that did it for me. I was like, I think I would have rather had this over that. I don't, I don't know. And I, the formula for Huda is for sure like Natasha's is better, but you know, sometimes you'd rather have one thing or the other, you know? So let's see. Now I'm going to jump in with Vision. That's our multi-chrome stitch. Asian. you know it's a slight little shift you can see it it has a nice it feels nice it feels it's got a lot of slip a lot of glide to it you know it's not going to be like the strongest shift like using you know a terra moons or a a cleona but you know she came to play and then when i'm using it i'm like oh okay i just think i don't know Natasha just had, I felt like, a very lackluster year. <laughs> and I'm just like, what's happening, ma'am? <laughs> the releases have just been like, eh. And so when you come out with just this, I'm like, okay, yeah, it's pretty, but it's not giving this super wow factor. I'm just like, uh, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna like go ahead and add a little bit more of that edgy color which is actually a really pretty plum. And see what I mean? Like they just blend out so easily by being those darker shades. So I do appreciate that because you really don't have to worry about all that crazy fallout unless you just put too much. And you can intensify your look and keep moving. So this look is basically done. Um, I'm just gonna do a little inner corner highlights, you know, for the inner eye. I'm going to take this little pencil brush, Pencil Pro by Sonya G, and I am going to go in with Spontaneous, yeah. Okay. It's not bad, but I think I put a little bit much. Sometimes, I don't know. I do too much in my inner corner. There we go. Now that I blend it in, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit more vision and just kind of like fade the two into each other. Cause sometimes it just looks like a just sitting there and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't want it to look like that. I need it to fade, okay? There we go. So you can see a little bit of the shift. It's cute. It's nothing wrong with this look. Nothing, <laughs> nothing, okay? Nothing at all. Nothing wrong with the performance. You see how quick I did that? I got compliments. I got a compliment from like somebody I work with. She doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She was like, I'm just gonna watch your videos. And I was like, I'll show you the palette. She was like, yeah, that palette's nice. It's, you know, it's not too bold. And actually it will look great on her skin complexion because she's a little bit deeper for me, which I think is awesome. Okay, so I think now I got my same little 16 by Wayne Goss. I'm gonna go in the shade with Nurture, this color right here. So Nurture is also a cream matte. So you do get a little kick up with the cream mats, but you know, it's not too bad. Just gonna give, you know, the next shadow a little something to blend into. So I don't know. So what other new releases have just like caught your attention? I definitely want one of those um, Zodiac palettes by, Bad Zodiac palettes by Melt Cosmetics. I want the Earth one, I'm a Taurus. And usually I'm not into Zodiac palettes, but I'm like, that one is pretty, it's giving fall vibes. Um, I, and the names, I'm like, yeah, that's me. That's me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all these, <laughs> all of this, that's me. <laughs> I'm like, yep, <laughs> hit it on the head. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So 
I just realized this color was in here and this is like why it's good for me to like kind of go back and look at the palette because I was like this color aspiration looks super pretty so I'm going to use that and that's a nice matte shade so at this point I'm like okay maybe I should keep the palette because I promise you y'all this palette is about to go back so let's see it's kind of it's plum it's egg planty well that's pretty okay it has a little grayish in it okay I like that color. I like it a lot. And this would be a good outer V color too if you didn't want to pop it in your crease. Or if you didn't want any, you know, thing as like strong as black in your crease. This is pretty. Okay. And I think like I put on a little bit too much eye primer here because it seems like it's catching, but I know that's the primer right there like that's going across and I pull out that big thread of it I was like eh, yeah yeah okay so that's looking nice um I want to use this berry shade but now that I use aspiration I'm like oh is it gonna work together so let's see I'm gonna lay down the black and then I'm gonna pop that over it so it can just like make it a little bit deeper I'm gonna go right back to this brush. It's the rougher number two. Just gonna wipe it off a little bit. Because it's not like it's gonna alter the color or anything. I'm gonna jump in with Instinct, which is another cream to powder. So you know it's gonna be like the same formulation as that. Yeah, yeah. This is what it's looking like on a brush. I'm just gonna tap it down. This is a pretty color as well. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put the black on first. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Okay, let's let's try this again. I'm gonna go in with black is black right here, which is actually cream matte as well. It was a cream matte, and then we had the other one was a cream to powder. So got the black is black. Good thing about black, you know, it's gonna cover the other ones. And then I'm gonna lay down the shade. So this eye is definitely gonna be, you know, just darker. Oh, but look how the black has a little shine to it. So, yeah, that is nice. So, I right. between Pat McGrath and Natasha, like their matte formulas are just so nice. They just bring a lot to the table. You know what I mean? Like normally working with a black, look how vibrant that is and shiny. You're gonna have a, like a lot of fallout and stuff, and it's just looking a mess. I think this might be one of the repeating shades, right? But also, this would be a nice black to just put all over the lids because it's going to give your eye a little shine. I'm gonna go back in a little bit with that brush. Um, just gonna clean up. I'm not gonna take any extra product. I'm just gonna kinda blend here. Same rougher brush, now I'm gonna jump back in with Instinct. Lay that over the black. Yeah. So you get a little pop of the color. It just kind of changes the effect of it. I don't know. I've been hearing some people say that this might be her holiday release. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I want from her. When I do Natasha, I don't expect much. I'm like, whatever she gives me, I'm pretty much okay with. <laughs> Versus like Pat McGrath, I'm like mad. I'm like, ugh. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm i like, is this going to be holiday? Because what else has she come out with this year? She came out with the pastel palette and I did not get that. I was like, oh no. Because I have just come to realize that I don't like pastels on myself, okay? I don't. I, I just don't, okay? <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with babies. I'm gonna take that on my finger. That is babies right here. That is just a metallic 
These names are weird in this palette, if you ask me. You got Babies, Carpe Diem, Serenity, Aspiration, Thrill, Edgy Spun. I guess, I don't know. The names are a little weird, but you know, Natasha has given us some weird names before. Like, what? what is it, the Glam Palette, where it's just like, <laughs> it's like Outer B, <laughs> which was kind of funny. So I'm going to clean that up with a brush, but I'm just getting it down with my finger first. There you go. Like, like I'm looking at these looks, I'm like, they're really pretty. But I'm not seeing anything that's like, oh my gosh. Knock my socks off. I'm loving this, you know what I mean? I'm just going to take a brush now. This is a uh, Sonya G. Build a pro, go in with baby so I can just like, you know, do this basically. <laughs> Get it up there because even though I can't with my little tiny finger and I like, I mean, it's nothing wrong with these two looks. I mean, it's just, and I'm actually just going to bring this in into the inner corner. And I think like I want to put something else here. So I'm gonna try Serenity. I'm gonna take a little Serenity right here. Serenity. Oh, that yeah, that's the dual chrome also the other dual chrome. And yeah, it just needed something right there. It just it's looking a little bit too sheer up against our mats. I don't think that really changed anything, but you know, as far as the color tone. Now I'm gonna jump in a little bit, a little bit more. All right, so here we go. These are the looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and figure out my face makeup and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and you know what? Little Natasha Dream palette. I think you might live to see another day in my collection, okay? And it's not this look. It's this look, this plummy gray taupe situation. I'm loving it, okay? So I like it. I'm still not like, oh my God, I'm in love. But this look right here is like, okay, I can work with it. It's not, I mean, I never thought it was terrible. It's just like, you know, are you super inspired when you pick up the palette? And this is more inspiring than this because I feel like I can create this in my collection so many times over. Now for my face details, I went in with my NARS foundation. This is the light reflecting foundation. I wear the shade Caracas. And then for bronzer, I took my minted uh, bronzer in the shade AK. Y'all y'all know <laughs> right here. And for blush, I jumped in with my Natasha Denona Bloom palette. And I was like, oh yeah, I have a blush palette by her. So I took this right here, the cream blush. And then I used this one as the highlight. And for the lip, I was like, oh, it's fall. The eyes are a little bit more dark. Let's go a little vampy. I took my Juvia's Place lips and I went in with the shade Scorpio, which is a beautiful burgundy lip liner. Also, I always keep saying this because I love using this lip liner, but if you're a big fan of Current by MAC, um, which is actually discontinued, I do have Current in my collection, but this is a great dupe and it's like creamy, very affordable, like eight, nine dollars. Then I took Rude, yeah, Rude Girl by Juvia's Place. This is from like their Reds collection. Beautiful vampy shape. And I didn't have to do this, but I was just being extra. Even though I'm really not a gloss over a uh, lipstick type of girl because I, it makes my lips like cake up more. My lips can't handle it. But I went in with Maroon. And Maroon is a beautiful, really thick, pigmented gloss. So I really didn't even need to take this. Whew, took a lot to get it out of there. 
So I didn't even need to put this over the lip, but like I said, I was being extra. So there you have it. Those are my face details. Oh, oh, oh. But I really like also, I put my Danessa Myricks uh, chrome liner in um, my waterline. So this is the shade Charite. And it's a beautiful, like, it's just like kind of like a straight up purple. So I put that in the waterline right here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but yes. And these are Kiss Ritzy lashes. So, yes. Yeah, so these are the looks. Oh, wait. I'm like, is my pencil? Oh, oh okay. I'm like, go down now because these were not cheap. They weren't cheap at all, okay? Can't be breaking it. <laughs> so this is the look. These are the two looks. I'm glad I went and took a chance and played with the palette some more because, you know, I was just like, literally, it can go back. And I hardly ever return makeup, but I was just like, it can go back, like, honestly. But I'm going to keep it around, okay? So let me know how you feel about this palette. I'm still not like, oh, my God, over the moon, but I'm going to play with it some more. And this look is really beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, this one's pretty too, but I have shades like this. The matte situation is really pretty, but I'm just really feeling this plummy one right now. So let me a comment down below. Let me know how you like the look. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be soon. And subscribe to my channel because, you know, I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And I'm getting close to 5,000 subscribers. So can, can you tell a friend to tell a friend? So I really would love to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I think we can do it. We're about 350 away. Wait, we can do this. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Oh, but wait, how, how dare I? So with all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time. For the chair dance, chair dance, hey, 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 chair dance, mm, mm, chair dance, hey, chair dance, mm, chair, mm, mm. All right, y'all. Bye.